Hey, my name's Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players, just like you. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the one-handed backhand versus the two-handed backhand. What are the pros and cons of each? They're both, they both can be world-class shots, as we see in the professional tour right now. There's examples of each in the, in the top 10. And I don't especially think that one is better than the other, but it's important to understand what the differences are so that you can choose for yourself. If maybe you're thinking about switching or you're just starting to play and you wonder which one is, is better. I want to dedicate this topic to Danny, who uh, asked me this question on YouTube. So let's talk about the one-handed backhand first, and we'll discuss what the pros are first. These are the advantages that are kind of inherent with the one-handed backhand. And the first one is just general versatility. By, by just having one hand attached to the grip, it gives us a little bit more, um, a few more choices as far as what we're able to do with the racket, gen generally speaking. And by the way, these are all generalities. You know, you're gonna find some examples of two-handed backhand players that are very good at some of the pros that I say for the one-handed backhand and vice versa. These are very general you know, guidelines. So with the one-handed backhand, you've got a little bit more reach, a little bit more ability to extend out and find the ball. And so there's a little bit more range as opposed to the two-handed backhand. We're talking about maybe six or eight inches or so. It's nothing huge. It's not like we're gaining you know, three feet or anything like that, but it can make a difference and can be more comfortable for players as opposed to feeling a little bit restricted by having two hands on the racket. This is kind of a very personalized thing that we're talking about. Also, in terms of versatility, generally speaking, players with a, a one-handed drive backhand tend to be a little bit more natural at hitting the slice as well. And it's very easy for them to go back and forth between a drive and a slice because they just aren't wildly different shots. And by the way, one-handed backhand and two-handed backhand are very, very different shots. So for a lot of two-handed backhand players, they can hit a backhand slice, but it's not the you know, pretty flowing, uh, knifing, you know, sometimes aggressive slice that you see professional players hit. It's a little bit more of a kind of a pushy defensive type shot. Not always, again, but often. So those are the main benefits that I see personally with having a one-handed backhand. Now the cons are, it's just a more difficult shot in general to hit, in my opinion. When your timing is, just, is off by just a little bit, it's very difficult to make up for that because it just takes a little bit more strength to be able to quickly, oh, oh, you know, when, when there's maybe a, a bad bounce off the court or the ball skips a little bit differently than you thought, it's very difficult to kind of catch up and get your racket out there quickly because you've just got one hand on the racket. And so a lot of times that's a tough, that's a tough thing. Also, if your positioning is not quite right and you're just not in the right spot and maybe you misread the ball, the ball gets up a little bit high, that, that becomes very, very difficult very, very quickly. So on one hand, you know, if, if you're good at judging the ball and you're good at getting in, good, in a solid position, there's a little bit more versatility with the one-handed backhand. If you're not in good position, then very frequently it, you, run, you get into a situation where it's very difficult to uh, make up for the fact that maybe your timing's a little off or your positioning is a little off, etc. One more uh, one-handed backhand pro that I forgot about is that, uh, but before we get right to the two-handed backhand, the one-handed backhand, there's just something about it. It's a very kind of classic, pretty shot. If you, if you hit it well, there's just something about a really solid, clean one-handed backhand that's just very, very satisfying. And it's, it's kind of a, um, I, I guess, classic. It's kind of a classic shot that's a lot of fun to hit when you're hitting it well. So I, I would personally put that under the, uh, the pro uh, list for a one-handed backhand. Now moving to two-handed backhand, the pros, number one, are that it's, it's just a stronger, physically, it's a stronger shot. You have more muscle potentially behind the shot. Now, that does not necessarily mean that you can always hit a two-handed backhand harder than a one-handed backhand. There's one-handed backhand players that have that potentially are able to hit massive shots, like uh, Vavrinka is the first person that comes to mind. So it doesn't necessarily mean you can hit it harder, but 
if your timing is a little off, if you misjudge the bounce a little bit and you have to you know, quick you know, make up for that, it's much, much, much easier with a two-handed backhand than it is with a one-handed backhand. Simply because you've got both hands on the racket, and it's very easy to make up for those quick, maybe quick adjust, adjust, adjustments. And so situations like where you're picking up a shot from right off the baseline, or maybe somebody's hitting a huge serve at you, you have very little time to react. Two-handed backhand is much easier to just make kind of a last second, you know, little move and hit the ball back. You can, it's certainly, it's possible to do that with a one-handed backhand, but the timing is just a lot more tricky. It's just a little bit tougher to do. And lastly, the, the last kind of main benefit of the two-handed backhand, this kind of flows in the same vein, is that in general, it's just easier to overcome mistakes. If your positioning is a little bit off, if you, again, if you misread the bounce and the balls, maybe it bounces up a little bit higher than you thought, those kinds of things are tough to overcome with a one-handed backhand or more difficult anyway. Two-handed backhand is a little bit easier because you've got that benefit of the strength of both hands on the racket to overcome misjudgments like that. Now, as far as cons are concerned, since you've got both hands on the racket, your, your range and your reach is a little bit less. As I talked about with the one-handed backhand, it's not, we're not talking about a huge difference here, but probably about six or eight inches or so of um, not as much ability to be able to, to extend out and, and reach on a drive or a topspin shot. Two-handed backhand, you're a little bit more restricted in that sense, but the benefit is you, you've got that little bit of extra strength if you are you know, stretched out a little bit. And lastly, the, the last con with the two-handed backhand, and again, this is not true across the board, but very frequently true. A lot of times players who hit a drive or topspin uh, with two hands don't have the most natural time letting go and hitting a slice with one hand. Obviously, there's a lot of professional examples where that is not the case, where a player has a two-handed backhand drive and a great one-handed backhand slice. Murray, for me, immediately comes to mind as a player who's really, really good at that. Uh, Justine uh, Hennen on the, uh, on the women's side, retired player now, but um, she, she was great at that. So. Not true across the board, but very frequently for amateur players, that, that is the case. So there you have it. There's my list of pros and cons for both the one-handed backhand and the two-handed backhand. Remember, these are generalities. There's no real solid you know, rules here or laws. Uh, either shot can be world-class. It's important that if you're just getting started, you try out both and figure out which one comes most naturally right away to you. And with that being said, I've got a free video series I'd love for you to check out. If you want to hit the most accurate and consistent backhands that you've ever hit before, and this is true of either one-handed or two-handed backhand, I've got a, a free 14 video series I'm going to link to in the, the description down below called Pinpoint Ground Strokes. So check that out. Also, if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below as well. Please do me a favor and click like if you enjoyed this video. And also be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future lessons. With that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and good luck, good luck with your tennis. <laughs>